Thank you, Hugh. Governor Palin. I don't know why these guys aren't running for something. I, we could use them, huh? We could use them. No, you're doing God's work on the air. You guys keep it up. It's great. You know why we're talking about American exceptionalism. You know why we are an exceptional nation. Um, Reagan used to talk about this. Margaret Thatcher nailed it. She, she spoke quite plainly about what allowed us to become the most generous, voluntarily generous, prosperous, strongest, safest nation on earth. She said it had to do with our Constitution, that our founders who crafted these documents for us that would create a government to protect us from anyone infringing on our God-given rights, our inalienable rights. She said it's because our founders brought over with them principles from both the Old and the New Testament, and that as long as we kept those in mind and as our foundation, America would continue to be exceptional. And other world leaders, they've always looked in from outside of our country and seen that we're different. We're, we're not set up to be like Greece and, and like Britain and these, these countries that, that our president had suggested that, well, we're kind of just like them because they think they're exceptional too. No, it's such a different way of thinking. But, um, you know, I, ha I can't finish my um, closing arguments because I have to address a little bit of the cap and tax, is what I call it, not cap and trade, and the devastation, as was already um, suggested, it, that it would have on our country if it were to pass. We have to make sure it doesn't pass. It would equal about $5.7 trillion in new taxes between now and the year 2035, a million jobs annually lost in America, about a $2,000 hit annually on every American family in new taxes is what this cap and tax monstrosity would do to our country. But even worse than the financial hits that our country and we as individuals would take with cap and tax, it would so disincentivize work ethic and industry and production because we are so reliant on our energy sources. Of course, petroleum products, which this would tax, it, it impacts every aspect of our life. There is an inherent linkage between energy and security and energy and prosperity and energy and freedom. And this cap and tax, what really the, the fundamental intention is on that is to reduce the production of energy in America. It makes us less secure. It makes us more beholden then on foreign regimes that don't like America and can use energy as a weapon as we're so reliant on them. They can cut off energy um, as a weapon used against us. Cap and tax, I think, will be worse than Obamacare. I think it will be worse than so many of the other things that we hear rumored about out there. Please keep your eyes and ears open to what Congress has in mind. It's all the more reason to do all that you can to take the gavel away from Pelosi and Reed and don't allow cap and tax to pass. Thank you, guys. God bless you again. I appreciate you so much allowing me to be here. Thank you. Is this great or what? I, I, I have smiled so much tonight, my jaw is starting to hurt, my hands are getting red and puffy from applauding. This has been the most energizing and inspiring evening I've seen in a long, long time. Now,